for me, it, it was just amazing and just opened up my eyes to like this whole world that was out there. And also this opened up my eyes to the world of opportunity. Like you can do anything, you can go anywhere and be anyone. Um, was really helpful as I transitioned to the national team because now I'm the young kid on the national team at 17 and I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? Living in these two diff very different worlds at the very same time, um, I think helped me grow as a person and as a leader. My parents are from Ghana, West Africa, and um, they didn't know much about like scholarships or sports or things like that. So when I was able to get into a position of, of basically receiving scholarships, they were like, okay, well, you know, the most important goal that, that we had for, uh, for you when we came over here was to get a good, solid education first and foremost. So once uh, the, the university started calling, I was like, all right, this is my, my way out to get a really good education and get it paid for. I knew it was important to get my education. My mom always drove that into me. She got a master's degree in adapted PE. She got her degree. They taught at a community college. So I've always been around the college scene. You know, I followed um, players all the time, and a lot of the national team players always went to college. So growing up as a young kid, I watched my idols play at the collegiate level. Soccer, for some reason, just always stuck with me. I just love the game. I love how competitive it was. I love that you were running all the time. I love that, you know, you could be physical, but also you could be technical. And I felt like that kind of just continued to grow with me as I got better and better in the sport. So when I was in high school and I started looking at colleges, I knew it's really important to go to a great school. And I loved engineering and science. And so I started looking at engineering schools. Uh, Stanford was just around the corner and they had a great soccer program. But I also realized early that I wanted to serve in the military. I wanted to just be a part of something that was bigger. And that's when I came across the service academies. I think my biggest accomplishment was my senior year. I had the honor of being team captain. When you experience something like the reward of a Make-A-Wish, you, if you're not moved, you, I don't know if you have a beating heart. Uh, what the concept is, these kids uh, facing life-threatening illnesses are granted one wish. And uh, imagine if you were that wish. So that's what a child's one wish is. I would like to hang out with this person and then see this person perform. That is by far the most flattering thing that I have ever experienced, and it's very tough to even put that into concept. I have great perspective, and from my very first one, had great perspective of what that is, and I'm able to see the end product, like the joy it brings not only to the children, to the families, to the people who are involved in, in volunteering to make the experience possible, and that joy equals hope, and hope can sometimes move mountains. It's very, very close to me because I see the direct effect. I think we all have causes that we stand up for, but I, I get to be at the end and I see the direct effect that it has on people and it's, it's fantastic, it really is. Like I think about equal pay and the awards that I've gotten about equal pay. Like it's great to have that recognition, um, but for me that's only a success if others follow. I'm the leader and the person I am today because of what soccer has given me. And so um, I want every kid to have that ability to play our sport. Me being the type of person that always wants to give back, I took the, the initiative to say, you know what, it's time for me to start giving back to, to the next person to see, if, to see them succeed as well. So I decided to just basically do the same format that was given to me and just help as many high school um, kids as possible with any type of financial burdens that they had. I always knew that I was trying to get to certain places and just looking at my father and what he did and my, my parents, both both of them, coming over here with, you know, nothing and, you know, not really having that support. I knew that, you know, they were giving me everything that they had for me to succeed. I would say we're one of the best, you know, teams in the world that has ever been. I think what we brought in front of the world it started to spark a different kind of light. I'm getting to the point now that I can kind of sit back and say, wow, we did tremendous things. We did amazing things. It became my passion to want to help other athletes, current athletes especially, so that when they do retire, they're just jumping right into their next thing, but also help those that have already retired to figure out what they want to do 
uh, with their life after, after they finish their sport. That was my first flight to space, and I had some pretty high expectations for what that was gonna be like, and they were all absolutely blown out of the water. It was one of the most incredible experiences that I've ever had. It's really the collaboration of everybody working together. That's the kind of intensity I felt on the soccer field in Annapolis. That's the kind of intensity I feel here at NASA, working with the flight control team. It, they're great parallels, and they're incredible worlds to live in.